Alrighty, we are here at the Kaidin tomb. Wow. So he was the, the last emperor? Yes, let's read what they yes. have to say. Yes, yes. This is pretty cool. The tomb was built during 11 years, 1920 to 1931, of French modern materials. This is one of the smallest tombs. The other one's on grand scale, on big land. Yep. This one is the most ornate, it's smallest, and much more attention to detail. Yep. Pretty hard to get all the grandeur in, isn't it? Beautiful. Such detail in every single little tile everywhere. Have a look at all the detail in all these tiles. That is amazing. So much detail everywhere you look in this room. And this was all built in the early 20th century when uh, Vietnam was under French rule. So his uh, tomb is not as big and doesn't have as much grandeur as some of the other earlier emperors because it was under French rule at the time. But there's much more detail in this than all the other tombs. Look at the look in his eyes. I am important. Take a photo of me, please. The Nguyen dynasty went from 1802 to 1945. Not often you see stuff like this, especially in Australia, so this is very unique. And it survived the uh, American War too. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. Looting that went on during there. Yeah, surviving the war is a big thing. Because they, they lost so many historical like buildings and everything. All didn't the Hoi was a historical city. Yeah. What happens is this was southern Vietnam, yeah. controlled by the South, yeah. and the uh, Liberation Army came in. This was particularly of significant importance, and they called the Tet Offensive. They attacked on Tet, which is like, a, like attacking Christmas holidays. Oh, yeah. and they had protracted sieges going on in the old city, which I'll take you to. Um, it was door-to-door -door fighting. You look at the photos, and so it was just fighting, so yeah. there was no... So here you've got pictures of the funeral, ceremony of moving the coffin, funeral procession going out of the gates of the citadel, the people on the river watching and then moving the coffin into the tomb here. And here's a map of uh, Hawaii City and the uh, location of where we are now, the tomb is right there. And up there is the, the city, the old city. And you've got some photos up there celebrating his 40th birthday. 40th birthday anniversary of the Emperor Kotin, 1924. Time to party with the Emperor, getting up to mischief, hanging out, doing what Emperors do. Bit of a wild man by the look of it. <laughs> 